Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the brand new Division video. What I've guessed today is the synopsis of the recent state of the game that took place on Twitch.tv. So if you guys haven't seen that state of the game, to be honest, it wasn't really the most interesting thing. There wasn't really a lot of details, um, you know, they mentioned, but some of the things they did mention, I'm going to cover it in today's video. So if you guys do enjoy this, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more videos, and let's get right into this. So first up, the most frequently asked question is when is patch 1.6 coming out? When is Last Stand DLC coming out for consoles? And the answer to this is there is no specific date. They did mention it specifically that they, you know, they finished reviewing the, the patch. They did test it out on the game and stuff like that. After the PTS ended, um, they made some tweaks here and there. They changed some of the things. And they did submit it to Microsoft and Sony. Now, Microsoft and Sony, they don't really have control over how long they have to review it for um, until they pretty much release the update. So the overall answer to everyone's question is there is no specific date. Now, in my opinion, it's going to take about two, maybe two and a half weeks until we see the patch on consoles. Maybe it's a little bit sooner. I'm pretty sure patch 1.5 was, I think, like a week and a half after they, um, you know, the PTS ended. So... As I said before, they don't really have control over how long Sony or Microsoft takes uh, to review it. For PC, they could probably, you know, launch it today or tomorrow, but they do want to release everything at the same exact time. So that's why, you know, the PC players have to wait um, in order for this to come out. But as of right now, there is no specific date. The next thing they did talk about was the medkit delay. Now, I'm not too sure if how many of you guys played the PTS, but it was a, a pretty interesting problem, to be honest. Sometimes, for me, it didn't happen, and sometimes it would happen and I could feel it. Now, what the problem was, it was a medkit delay. So anytime you press the key for your medkit, it would take like 2-3 seconds, and it was really, really obvious. Like, you could really tell um, that there was a delay, like a lag in between your keys, and you actually receiving the medkit. So they did say they know about this and they are going to fix it for patch 1.6. The final change that was talked about on the state of the game was Deadeye. Now if you guys didn't know, there was a thing going on with Deadeye. Whenever you used a red dot site and you pretty much zoomed in, you got the Deadeye bonus. And technically you were not scoped in in your site. So they did fix that where you are no longer uh, going to get the bonus whenever using a red dot site. Now you actually have to use a site that actually zooms in in order to get the Deadeye bonus. So that is the only change they did make to Deadeye. I know some people are saying like rip Deadeye, Deadeye is going to be trash now. To be honest, it's not that big of a deal. Most of the people that do use Deadeye actually zoom in and you know use their scopes properly. So that is the only change once again to Deadeye. But that's pretty much it for the video. I'm sorry if the video was a little bit too short. There's not a lot of information uh, that was released on the state of the game. Um, if you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.